Gene silencing is a form of gene therapy. What is gene therapy, you ask? It is a broad name for methods of correcting genetic disorders by manipulating the genes or gene expression. Now, gene silencing does not mean telling your DNA to be quiet. It actually refers to the use of various techniques to reduce protein production to suppress gene expression. Ribonucleic acid interference, aka RNAi, is one of these methods in which certain proteins are prevented from being synthesized. Those proteins are the key to the gene's expression. If the protein production is stopped or limited, then the gene cannot do what it was meant to do. This is why RNAi can be used to treat diseases that begin at the genetic level, such as Huntington's disease and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also called ALS. Now that we've talked about what RNAi is and what it does, let's see how it works. Here are our characters, messenger RNA, RNA polymerase, small interfering RNA, microRNA, argonaut 2, and dicer. Small interfering RNA and microRNA come from double-stranded pieces of RNA that are sliced by an enzyme called dicer. They then form the RNA-induced silencing complex, called RISC, with argonaut 2, an enzyme. While in risk, small interfering RNA and microRNA discard a strand and become single-stranded. The risk attaches to the messenger RNA precisely. Once attached to the messenger RNA, argonaut 2 causes it to be cut and the removed portion degrades. Editing the messenger RNA like this prevents certain proteins from being synthesized because the instructions to make the proteins were removed. So what did we learn today? RNAi is a form of gene silencing. It can occur naturally in eukaryotes and is recreated by pharmaceutical companies to create treatments for diseases, such as some cancers and Huntington's disease. Because of RNAi's versatility and ability to be precise, it can be used to treat numerous illnesses. Cancers can be treated with RNAi because they are partially caused by faulty genes, and other diseases that originate with mutated or otherwise harmful genes could also be treated with RNAi-based therapeutics.